There are four main tools to engage your audience with Vibely. First, there's challenges. Then we have circles. Next, meetups and live room. And finally, resources. Challenges are a great way to engage your audience. You can think of challenges as a way for your community to take action together. What do you want them to achieve? Now, think about how to turn that into a challenge. There are two different types of challenges. The first is a single challenge. The second is a recurring challenge. So a challenge repeated daily, weekly, or even monthly. How your audience will interact with the challenge is by clicking and reading your description. You can upload a photo or video if you'd like, and they will complete the challenge by uploading a photo, video, or just text. You will be able to see everyone's challenge entries underneath the challenge. And as you can see, the photo challenges are really engaging. So we encourage you to think about how you can turn your challenges into a visual challenge. Members can be inspired by other members and leave comments with feedback, inspiration, questions, and connect with other members. Challenges will have a countdown, start and end date. This is to encourage members to complete the challenge together. However, once the countdown is finished, members are still able to complete the challenges on their own time. You can think of circles as chat rooms or channels for your community to talk to each other. You can have as many or as few as you'd like around any topics that you think will engage your audience. This is the place where they will connect with each other, make friends, ask questions, and dive deep around the topics that matter. You can do things like post and create a poll. You can send images, emojis, and links. We encourage you to pop in here on a regular basis to check in, welcome new members, relay any information, and energize your community. Going live with your audience is one of the most powerful tools for engagement and gives a ton of value to your members. The media pages are where you can schedule events whether they're in person or online. Your members can RSVP, add to their Google Calendar, and simply see all the details. If your event is online, it will be held in the live room. The live room is exactly like Zoom, just within your community. You will be able to see every member that joins. You can record your sessions, you can share your screen, you can do anything that you would be able to do in Zoom. If you decide to record your sessions, we have a feature that will automatically add them to a video library. So you can then go back and access these videos to repurpose in future content and social media and your members will be able to access it afterwards as well. You can also chat with your members in real time and control mics and cameras. Creators will use the live room for lots of different things. For example, Q and A's with yourself or guest speakers, masterminds, co-working or study sessions, classes or lectures, even casual happy hours and game nights, just to bond. Our creators will hold lives on a regular basis, either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Next, we have your custom tab. This is exactly what it sounds like. You can customize it for anything that would be helpful for your community. We have creators that embed pages of their website, whether it's an online store or a specific page that they want their community to have access to. Most of our creators will use it as a resource page, so a place where you can compile different worksheets, PDFs, videos, or any other resource that you have available. You can use custom websites, or you can insert a Notion page or another custom page. Now onto the last part of the community that your members will have access to. We've got community announcements here. This is a great way for you to communicate with your entire group at one time. So any announcements, any new initiatives, anything that you need everybody to see, you can post as an announcement. It's a great way for you to have a presence within the community without having to go into the circles and answer specific questions. So anything that you want to share, do so in an announcement. Then we have direct messages. This is where your community can speak with each other. 
You have notifications, which will be updated with all the new announcements, circles, challenges, etc. And then they can access their profile. This is going to be where they can see their accomplishments, get badges for completing different things within the community, as well as check in on the different progress within each challenge.